we are going to uh, so have to do some problems in this topic. Now today we have to complete these problems in this topic and next topic to be started next class. Okay, here. A trolley, next another problem to be continued. So, what I have the number, just I will give question and continue our numbers. A trolley A trolley While going down While going down While going down, an inclined plane. So while going down, an inclined plane. An inclined plane has an acceleration of has an acceleration has an acceleration of two. Centimeter per second square. Two centimeter per second square will be given. What is? Uh, what will be its velocity? What will be? What will be its velocity? What will be its velocity? Uh, three seconds after. Three seconds. After three seconds after the start, three seconds after the start, after the start. So, what is the given thing here? I have to calculate the velocity. So, time will be given and uh, Initial velocity. So we will carry down inclined position means it is starting from rest. Rest position it will be moved. Rally being from the rest position it will be moved. That's why its initial velocity will be taken as zero. Initial velocity to be taken zero. The rally. The rally moving. So the rally begins uh, begins from. The trolley begins from rest. Begins from the rest position. Begins from the rest position. Rest position. So initial velocity is equal to initial velocity u is equal to zero. Initial velocity u is equal to zero. Now acceleration. Acceleration of the trolley A A is equal to two centimeters per second square is given. To change this value into meters, two by hundred meter per second square. Two by hundred. Okay, bit fraction. It is better to do the calculation. Otherwise, to write zero point zero two meters per second also to write. So uh, to keep the fraction, it will be better. So easy to do. Now time taken. Time taken. T will be given as three seconds time. Then final velocity. Final velocity. Final velocity v is equal to how much? V is equal to how much? What is the application here? So here to observe u v a t will be given. Means first equation of motion here had applied. So what is the first equation of motion? V is equal to u plus a t. V is equal to u plus a t. That is equal to u zero plus a. A to write as two by hundred. Fraction we to write two by hundred into t will be three. That's three seconds. Now it is better to do the cancellation. So otherwise zero point two also it is better sometimes. So it is six by hundred. That is equal to zero plus What do you get? Zero point zero six. Zero point zero six. Now velocity v is equal to zero point zero six 
meters per second square or otherwise it will be taken as 6 meters per centimeter since centimeters or had to be considered its value becomes 6 centimeters per second square or otherwise sorry, second second one 0.06 meter per second or otherwise 6 centimeter per second that is the final velocity so once again repeat see a tally begins from rest that's why you will be taken as 0 and acceleration given as 2 centimeter per second to change that value into meters so here by taking the fraction sometimes is convenient but here to make the decimals it will be easy because uh, here also there is no cancellation factor will be there no so that's why to write 0 0.02 also otherwise write it also to write 2 3 is 6 6 by 100 6 by 100 means 0 0.06 now 0 plus 0 0.06 means 0 0.06 meter per second or otherwise 6 centimeters is its velocity okay final velocity right so another one, another simple application to do. So in this problem, next question, next question to be continued here. So what is that? So in this question to go, consider a racing car has a uniform acceleration of four meter per second square. What distance will it cover in ten seconds after start? So here also initial velocity will be taken as 0. So here a racing car a racing car a racing car has a uniform acceleration has a uniform acceleration Uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square. 4 meter per second square. What distance will it cover? Here we have to calculate the distance. What distance will it cover? What distance will it cover? What distance will it cover? In 10 seconds after, in 10 seconds, in 10, 10 seconds after it starts, after, after start, after start, that's the question. So in this case, we have to calculate the distance. So distance time for the given conditions, acceleration will be there. A car starts from rest means you will be there. Time will be given. That's why second equation of motion we have to apply here. What is that? S is equal to ut plus half a t square. We have to apply this application. So in this, <coughs> a car starts from a car starts from rest. So therefore, initial velocity. U means initial or the other. Remember the terms U initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration, T time as distance. So remember that things. So U is equal to 0. Acceleration A is equal to 4 meter per second square. Time taken is equal to 10 seconds. Then distance travelled is equal to how much? So once again recall the formula. S is equal to UT plus half AD square. That is equal to 0 into 10 plus half into 4 into 10 into 10. 2 1s are 2 2s are. Now, 100, 100 into 2, 200 meters. So, S is equal to 10 into 0 means 0. 10 0 is 0. 0 plus 20 plus 10. 20 into 10, 200. So, S is equal to 200 meters. So, after 10 seconds, the Racing car will be at 200 meter distance. Okay, so applications are important here to know the applications very well. We can do this problem easily. Okay, now another one to be continue. So simple applications just to remember the application is three SLG uh, three equations of motion. We can do very easily. Sometimes problems are very very lengthy will be given, but answer will be. Very simple, so to remember. 
so here a stone is thrown in in a vertically upward direction with velocity of 5 meter per second if the acceleration of the stone during its motion is 10 meter per second square in the downward direction so what will be the height attained by the stone and how much time will it take to reach there so here time taken and maximum height to be calculated so what is the given thing here a stone is thrown a stone a stone is thrown a stone is thrown in a vertically upward in a vertically vertically upward upward vertically upward with a velocity of with a velocity of 5 meters per second 5 meters per second if the acceleration of the stone if the if the acceleration if the acceleration of the stone if the acceleration of the stone uh, during its motion during during its motion during its motion during its motion is 10 meter per second square is 10 meter per second square in the downward direction in the downward downward direction in the downward direction now what will be the height what will be the height attained by the star what will be the height what will be the height attained by the stone attained by a stone attained by a stone and attained by a stone attained by the stone and how much time attained by the stone and how much time and how much time uh, will it take to reach there will it take will it take to reach there so two questions to be answered in this one is time taken and uh, maximum height to be calculated here a stone will be taken in uh, here a stone will be thrown vertically up means its initial velocity u will be given and final velocity is zero to be considered why because the stone will reach the position of rest at the point of the maximum height that's why we can't calculate that that's why to calculate to take that uh, final velocity or it is also known terminal velocity to be taken as zero and acceleration will be 10 meter per second square so in the direction opposite to the trajectory of the stone that's why we consider with the minus sign to be taken with this value with the minus sign then substitute in the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2as application we get the acceleration will be there u will be there then we can calculate the distance value first to have to calculate distance means maximum height reached that to have to calculate it at first okay so first to have to apply the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2as so in this to calculate the distance yes so s is equal to v square minus u square by 2a unit now in this initial velocity u is given as 5 meters per 
second. Acceleration a will be taken as 10 meter per second squared. Minus value to be considered by because it is in opposite direction. And final velocity v will be taken as 0. Now substitute this value. Then we can calculate s is equal to how much. Now substitute in this equation s is equal to v square minus u square by 2a that is equal to 0 square minus u square u is how much? 5 5 square by 2 into minus 10 2 into minus 10 that is equal to minus 25 5 square means 25 5 5 is a 25 by minus 10 to the 20 so minus minus gets cancelled that is equal to 25 by 20 25 by 20 means 5 5 is a 25 5 4 is a that is equal to 5 by 4 so 5 by 4 means 1.25 meters so maximum height reached by the stone will be 2.5 meters to remember 2.5 meters height it reaches and also to calculate the time taken so for calculating the time taken what is the application first equation of motion so it is that v is equal to u plus a t to be considered v is equal to u plus a t in this v value to be taken as 0 in this also to calculate time value t so t is equal to v minus u by a uh, sorry 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 what do you get what do you get t make as a subject now is v minus u by a now that is equal to v 0 minus 5 by minus 10 that is equal to minus 5 by minus 10 minus minus gets cancelled 5 also 5 to 0 that is equal to half second or otherwise 0 0.5 seconds time will be taken so that is the question okay so in these two things I right, calculate first level. final velocity will be 0 why because its maximum height is not given just only to throw up so that's why you consider its value will be taken as 0 you starting from rest uh, sorry starting with uh, 5 meter per second velocity it will be started that's why u will be taken as 5 acceleration acts downward direction that's why it will be taken as negative minus sign okay then we can calculate the distance value first then after calculating the distance we can calculate the time so distance will substitute in third equation of motion time is substituted in first equation of motion so their applications are important. So, missing letters to be absorbed easily will get the application. Right? Now, next one. Next question to see. Next, another question.